What's up guys? So in this episode, it's going to be a little bit of a darker subject, but one of the most important that we've ever shown on the vlog. And what I ultimately want to get out of this episode is I want you to go to the link that will be accompanied with this vlog, whether that's in the comments or whether it's in the caption or whether that's in my LinkedIn uh, profile. But it's to a, a blog post by a very dear friend, uh, Dr. Rebecca Heiss, that she put out last week. And it centers, centers around the topic of sexual assault. And she gets extremely uh, raw, extremely um, transparent on some of the incidents that she has experienced uh, over the course of her life uh, up to very recent. And I just have to say, you know, having a daughter now um, who's almost two, um, innocent, beautiful, that this story um, and spending time with Dr. Heiss and kind of talking through some of, some of these things has really, really affected me in a big way. And it's something that I feel like I can't just sit idly by knowing that these things are happening all the time, knowing that these things are are happening and then going um, going un, not unnoticed, what's the word I'm looking for? People aren't talking about it. People aren't being held responsible for their actions. Uh, and it just so happens that the majority of this is, is men. Men are not being held responsible for their actions. And I think that this blog, um, this article, really goes into a lot of the science behind it because that's Dr. Heiss's background is in science and studying the brain and studying uh, different animals even and how they respond to certain situations and how that can tie in to why these things happen and why the reaction is the way it is when these things happen. I mean, one thing she was, I was reading some of her research talking about um, these certain birds that they were doing experiments and all these things that they were doing to these birds and when they would go to release the birds they would put the bird down and this they said it almost became like comical that the bird would just stay frozen for a certain period of time seconds some minutes before it would fly away and it was this idea that when a sexual assault occurs why often the victim freezes in that situation like you think like oh why didn't they punch the guy and why didn't they scream and this and that and sometimes that 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 freezing uh, reaction it's based on actual science as to why these things happen but what i can't do any longer is just hear these stories and it not affect me on a personal level now that i have a daughter and wanting that daughter wanting my daughter to grow up in a world where she doesn't have to constantly think about well, am I saying this compliment? Is that getting taken the wrong way? Or that compliment that was just said to me by this man, um, am I receiving that in the way that I should be? Or was there more behind it? Constantly um, looking over your shoulder, constantly wondering if you're on the, the line where they're interpreting your behavior in a different way than you're interpreting it. And just it just becomes so complicated but what I know is that for every assault that has been documented, for every assault that someone's had the audacity and the strength, quite frankly, to come out and talk about it, for every one of those, there are thousands that remain undocumented. Thousands that go uh, without anyone ever knowing. And, and that's just not right. And so, you know, we're gonna see, there's some things that we're gonna do over the next few months to get more involved in, in this conversation um, because I think the key to ending or to making the situation where it's at least less frequent and so that women know what to do when they go through it, uh, it's all about education. And it's not education in the way that we've all been educated on what happens when these things occur. It's being educated on the front end of how not to get put into that situation. And then once you're in that situation, what's actually happening to your body? What's actually happening inside your brain so that you can be aware enough to know like, hey, wake up, this is happening. 
it's time to go. And then once something has happened, how to then be able to talk about it and be able to work through it so that something that happened to you does not own you for the next five, 10, 20, 30 years. There are people that are gonna be watching this video that something happened to you when you were 12 years old and you're 45 now and it still has a hold of you. And it kind of goes back to this thing that I've talked about so, so many times that, that it's all your fault, it's all your fault, it's all your fault. And this is that one example that when I say that, I hate the way it feels because no, I'm not saying what that man did to you was your fault. I'm not saying what that relative of yours did to you was your fault. What I'm saying is your fault is that it's 20 years later and it's controlling you. It's controlling the way you interact with others. It's controlling the way you interact with your relationships. It's controlling the way that you uh, just think throughout the day. And so that's what I wanna help with is the education, not just in prevention of these things happening, not just for when they're happening, how to get out of those situations and how to snap back to life when you're frozen, but then after, how to really understand what you went through, how to learn from it, and how to voice, uh, give a voice to it to help others that may not have yet experienced or may have uh, that are still struggling with it. Um, this is a, a huge topic, um, not something that can be solved overnight, uh, but I don't think that that means it doesn't have, that it doesn't need to be attempted with intensity and attempted uh, with some sense of urgency because there is a sense of urgency. The most recent story that I've heard of this assault, knowing that this has happened to thousands of girls by the same individual absolutely sickens me. But what sickens me more is to not do something about it uh, so that there's not another hundred girls that are affected by the same individual. Um, so again, a dark topic, but what I want you to do is go to this blog post, it's rebeccaheist.com, and then there's a menu in the top right where you just click blog, it's the first one up there right now. Rebecca Heist, R-E-B-E-C-C-A-H-E-I-S-S, rebeccaheist.com, click on the blog in the menu, and it'll go right to it, we'll link it up below, and in my stories, and in my profile, and in the comments, and all that good stuff. Uh, but go and share this message, share this on Facebook so that someone can read it uh, and that it may make an impact and may prevent someone from going through it. It may help someone that's already going through it um, get past it. And uh, that's ultimately what we wanna do is, is help everyone get better. And this is a super serious topic that needs to be addressed. So with that guys, um, that's really it for today. I've got a lot of different things going on today, but this was just on my heart. Uh, we were coming up with topics for the for the vlog today, and I just couldn't get them, this one off my mind. And I wanted to put it out there and make sure that everyone, everyone, everyone has access to check it out.